Hi, this is uh, Simon from Fingers on Plastic. And in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at a figure that I've wanted for quite a while and I've not pulled my not pulled the trigger on. And I'm quite thankful because now, well, we'll, we'll get to it. But it is X-Transbots MX IXT Maintenance Payon, which is, of course, their Master X series or Masterpiece version of Hoist in his cartoon colours. So this is the box, some nice artwork on the front, uh, some schematics and more artwork on the side. And on this side it says, it's easier to build strong bots than repair a broken army. I'm not sure, is, is, could that possibly be a pot shot at people's uh, QC issues? Who knows? But on the bottom of the box is something that pleased Paddy quite a bit, a little teaser of their upcoming Springer. Ooh. And on the back of the box, we've got some more artwork. Again, we've got Springer making an appearance and we've got some specs and, you know, just general package stuff. I am going to open up the box now so we can take a look at him. And here he is. Before we get to him, let's take a look at some of the accessories. We have a crane arm. These plugs into the back there. Uh, spring loaded. Again, to be honest, it's really cool that they included it. I am probably never going to use it. Also, that you know that solar power machine they make. You get a version of it with um, MP grapple. That's cool. Again, I'm. Really cool they put it in there. I'm not going to it's going to stay like that. We also have a nice little instruction booklet. It's actually like a novel. It's like 78 steps or something insane, which is quite a lot of steps when you think about it. We then have more accessories. Uh, some caps. Hammer, his gun, alien face mask, and um, what I do quite like is his uh, his Doctor Octopus arms and a toy head sculpt. So you get quite a lot with this guy, to be honest. So for his price, bargain. But here is the figure himself. And I have actually transformed him and transformed him back. And I think I've botched the transformation back somewhere. But he is, he looks great. He looks really, really good. I have to hand Masterpiece Sideswipe. Now, this is what I love about the Masterpiece line when it first started. It's a great looking... Um, truck. I, I just think it looks great. It's obviously it's the same mould as Trailbreaker, but it looks so good. And it's got, you know, detailing and it's got just, just bits and bobs and it's got chrome and it says about the four wheel drive on the uh, there. I love little bits like that. I think it's so much better than the sort of plain blandness. But it's in the colours of the cartoon now, which is it's best of both worlds. I, I just, I really like it. I think it's fantastic. Rolls beautifully. And of course, you can lower this back bit, which has got on a slider so it can slide. And he can tow masterpiece figures. Which is awesome. So he's functional as well as good looking. Um, I think he's great. I really, really, really think he's great. So the vehicle mode is Nyon Perfection. I, I, I don't see how it could be any better than this, to be honest. I mean, maybe, maybe if I transformed it back properly. <laughs> Clearly done something wrong. It's transformation isn't horror, it's not a horror show, it's just, um, there's a level of complexity to it. 
But that is him in his rather glorious vehicle mode. I am going to get him transformed up so we can take a look at robot mode. I'll be right back. And here he is. <laughs> it's, it's no mistaking who it is. So obviously if you've got the, the other one, I'll try and put a picture of it next to him. So you can see the differences in the colors. So like I said, this is it's the best of both worlds. It's got the detailing, just just it's just more detail than your standard micro, uh, Microsoft thing. So literally just got a message that says Microsoft because it's Xbox Day. <laughs> anyway, your standard uh, masterpiece figure nowadays. It's got the, the, the just the, just little extra bits of detail which I like. Yes, that is Elsa on my finger. For those that really want to see what's going on underneath that, I will put a picture at the end of the video after the pictures of him. It's gross. Uh, anyway, I think I mentioned at the start of the video I was a little bit troubled because there's a pin. I noticed when I took him out of the bag, there is a pin, a little metal pin in the baggie. And I figured out where the pin came from. There's a pain in the butt. So it's come out of the little tiny plastic bit that's, that attaches that to the back on this side. There's a bit that folds out. I'm not gonna lie, that's a bit of a nuisance. Um, I'll have to try and get it back in there. How do you get, how do you put a pin? Because I put the pin back in when I transformed it and it just fell straight through. So I need to fatten the pin, so I'm not sure how to do that because it doesn't clip this side on properly otherwise. But anyway, it still doesn't, you, you can't really tell from any angle other than looking directly at it. It's hoist. I, I, I love this. I think this, this is the hoist I want. See, I'm, now I know I need to buy the cartoon version of the Trailbreaker. And it's because it's got the better hands as well. Bigger hands. And yeah, it it looks like hoist. It just does. Um, now you can swap his hands out. <coughs> this is where a bit of personal preference comes in. So obviously in the cartoon, you pop that off the ball and you put one of, the, blah, 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 one of those on. But I always like my robots to have two hands. So I go away from cartoon accuracy at this point. I think if you can have two hands, I'll have two hands. The only one-handed person I ever have is Shockwave. And I mentioned earlier that you, you got these really cool sort of uh, arms you can have. So when he's in robot mode, you can still uh, 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 attach them. So we can have like a Dr. Octopus effect. Which is really cool. He's not gonna clip right now, but oh, I, think, I think it's great. Hoist slash Dr. Octopus. And these things are crazy, but I, they need to be a little bit firmer. I think they're a bit on the loose side, but so it's, it's about a hundred ball joints right there that all need some clear nail varnish on them. But I think it will be worth it for the, the, the excellent Dr. Octopus poses you'll be able to get from him. I just, I love things like that. I really do. Articulation, his head can tiny go down. Although, have we zoomed in on the head sculpt yet? Let's take a nice look at that head. Isn't he pretty? Uh, head can go all the way around. He can look up. He can look really up. Like, woo! Apparently if I say squirrel, uh, I get done for copying Mgo. So I'm not gonna say squirrel, but he can look all the way up. His arms can go all the way around. His, he's got like this weird thing on his shoulder, so it can, you can have them lower, have them higher. What I have noticed is, transforming him, these little chips of the white plastic are coming off, which is a bit troubling, to be honest. Come off his legs as well. 
Uh, hands, really nice hands, much, much better than the ones before. Very poseable, so it's the three and the one and the thumb. Um, yeah, just better hands. He can waist swivel. He doesn't have an ab crunch, but he can bend over to look at his toes. If you lift up the skirt, he does a little high kick. And then more than 90 at the knee. And some foot wiggling, so up, down. Quite very poseable feet. So for a, a chubby fella, because let's face it, Hoist's a bit of a chubby. I can relate to him. Maybe this is why I like him. I relate to him more. Uh, he's slow and chubby. He's quite poseable. And yeah, I think he's a great figure. I got mine from Primetime Toys. Uh, came really quickly actually after I ordered him. Oh, also I forgot to mention accessories. You get a card because everybody expects a card nowadays. And if you don't have the card, it's a travesty to oh, God above and all of that stuff. But I think I've run out of things to say about this glorious, glorious figure. I'm going to give him... <sighs> it had a weak pin. Eight and a half out of 10. Uh, accessories, 10 out of 10. <laughs> like a stupendous amount of accessories but looks in both modes it's the look at it it's the best of both worlds it's got the cartoon colors and the masterpiece look you know the, the proper masterpiece look not this new fangled masterpiece look but he's a great figure as well actually although it should have rubber tires oh he does have rubber tires as well but i'd say that is about it from me and Hoist. Ta very much. Bye bye. Hi. <laughs> Try that again. 
Hi, this is uh, Simon from Fingers on Plastic, and in this video, I'm going to take a look at a figure I've been looking at for, for uh, Fingers on plastic. 